Hello and welcome to our fourth video in the MaxSurf Webinar 2 series on modelling techniques. This video is about trimming. The trimming model in MaxSurf is a dynamic trimming model. That means we can dynamically trim one surface to another when they intersect. This example that we see on screen uses trimming extensively. We have a bow thruster trim to the hull, some trimming for the shear line, uh, the transom is actually trimmed off from the hull and the keel is trimmed off where it penetrates through the bottom surface of the hull. In general we use trimming in situations in which the interior of the surface is very fair but the edges of the surface are not fair, usually they have some kind of discontinuity. So in those situations trimming is our best solution, allows us to maintain fairness while accurately modelling the discontinuous edge boundary. When it comes to checking trimming there are some rules that we should follow. First of all, we should ensure adequate penetration. For example, that means when we model this keel surface, we should make sure that it penetrates at least 10 millimeters or more inside the hull so that we have a continuous uh, penetration and intersection at all precisions. We should also avoid uh, shallow intersections, for example, where one surface is nearly parallel to another, and you should also avoid surfaces that are on, exactly on top of each other. When we want to check a particular surface, it's a good idea to hide all of the surfaces in the hull and just show the surface that we're interested in. In this case, I'm just going to show the bottom surface. And uh, the best way to check trimming is to actually inspect the intersection lines. So I'll turn trimming off for a second and turn on the intersection lines. And we can see that the transom comes down and intersects the aft end of the hull. And just by clicking on that intersection line and selecting it, I can check that it goes all the way to the edges and closes off that end. Moving forward a little, we've got our keel, the outer and inner sides of the keel, and the aft and the forward uh, faces of the keel. Those four contours together must form a completely closed boundary to allow, allow us to trim out that hole. And moving forward, we have a similar situation with the bow thruster. The bow thruster is actually made up of four different surfaces, so therefore intersection lines need to touch at the ends to make sure we have a closed boundary. The best way to ensure that is to make sure that those bow thruster surfaces are bonded together. So here we have uh, our surface. We've checked the intersection lines on it, and we have a range of different regions that they form. If we turn, turn our trimming on now, then once we go to start doing our trimming, we'll have a small aft region which can be turned on and off. We'll have our keel region which can be turned on and off and our bow thruster region which can be turned on and off. That then gives us our trimmed model uh, as we require. In this particular model, if I show all of those surfaces again and we go to a profile view, you can see that uh, we have a number of deck surfaces which have been used to trim off the shear line here. Now that's one method and if you need those deck surfaces that's fine but in, in recent versions of MaxSurf we've actually allowed you to use curves for trimming instead of other surfaces. So I'm just going to delete those deck surfaces and uh, I'm going to use a trimming curve instead. And the way that I can trim with a curve is I can first simply sketch the curve. So I'm going to sketch my uh, profile of my step shear line here and I'm just going to make sure it extends past the edges and then I'm going to select that curve and turn on the option to use it for trimming. I'm also going to specify which surfaces it's allowed to trim so we have quite precise control here and I want to trim off the top sides, upper top sides and the bulwark. Now when I turn my trimming on and I go to start doing my trimming you can see that that uh, curve has picked up the trim regions I had before. So by projecting that curve onto the edges of the surface, it gives me a region that I can trim on and off just from the projection of that curve onto the surface. That ends our trimming video. Thanks for watching.